Pigeon chest is a type of deformity where the central part of the chest sticks out. A typical patient with pigeon chest is shown in this image. The deformity's name arises because the protruding shape of the chest is similar to that of pigeons. Pigeon chest is a common name of the deformity, but its medical name is pectus carinatum. Pigeon chest is the opposite of funnel chest in which the central part of the chest caves in. The frequency of pigeon chest is around 10% that of funnel chest, meaning pigeon chest occurs in 1 in 2,000 or 5,000 births. Patients with pigeon chest often seek correction of, the, of their chests for such reasons as 1. The protruding shape of the chest is conspicuous even when they are closed. closed. 2. The rubbing of underwear against their chests when they move causes discomfort and pain for female patients. The protruding part of the chest mainly consists of cartilage. Cartilage is flexible and bends when we push it. So, when the surgeon pushes the protruding part of the patient's chest, it sags and is temporarily flattened. Consequently, the basic principle in the correction of the pigeon chest is to push down the protruding part and keep it in the correct position. The easiest and probably the most popular surgical correction method for pigeon chest is the Ambrethon method. Ambrethon is a surgeon in Argentina. In the Ambrethon method, the chest is pressed with a U-shaped bar. The Ambrethon method is suited to child patients, but it is often not suitable for adult patients. The cartilage of adult patient is hard. So the cartilage pushes against the bar and the bar can dislocate. To avoid this complication, we often use a modified technique. In this technique, the ends of the bar are placed inside the chest wall. The ends of the bar are held in place by the ribs. So the bar can be fixed more firmly than in the embracing method. The bar is less likely to be pushed up. We incise the right and left sides of the chest to insert the U-shaped metal bar into the space between the chest wall and muscles. After placing the bar on the surface of the chest wall, we push the protruding part of the chest down to correct its shape. In some cases, the protrusion cannot be corrected by simply pushing it down. This occurs because Besides the cartilages, the sternum, the bone at the center of the chest, is sticking out. For such cases, we cut the sternum and bend it. Then, we introduce one end of the bar into the chest cavity of one side. We then, remove, we, we then move to the other side and introduce the other end of the bar into the chest cavity on the opposite side. The dynamic principle in the correction of pigeon chest is explained again. The chest wall is pressed downward. The cartilage bends and the protrusion is corrected. The correct shape is maintained by a metal bar. In the embrethon method, the whole bar is placed outside of the chest wall. And the cartilage pushes up the bar. 
But in the modified method, the ends of the bar hang on the ribs and can't move up. So this technique is suitable for patients with hardened cartilages, more specifically adult patients. These pictures show the post-operative condition of the patient I introduced in the first image. The pre- and post-operative condition of the patient. 